You got a truck beeping. Oh yeah, look <laughs> at Beep, beep. <laughs> so today we're talking about five things that are pretty inexpensive that you can use to make your product photography or your videography that much better. One of the things we learned is how to manipulate light a little bit more. And one of the easiest ways to manipulate light, especially when we're using flash photography, is making little vertical horizontal cards. You know, you can fake a window, you can fake a slot. In fact, like the window behind me, the light coming from that window is just one big bit of foam core that we've cut the guts out of it. So, there's the first really inexpensive way you can change the scene and change what you're doing by cutting up a bit of foam core or cardboard and turning it into some sort of artificial window or light. The next thing that I think we found that we used quite a lot, and it's to manipulate water when we're using the water bath, it would be a hairdryer, just creating those ripples, whether it's stills or videos, uh, shooting a high frame rate, or just trying to freeze something. This works really well. The third thing that we've only just got recently, but it was a bit of a necessity in this space that we're in now, uh, is moving blankets or anything to be able to really dull the audio and stop, like say, the reverb around a room. So let me just show you what we've got going on. So in this new space, it's quite big, it's quite cavernous if you kind of look up there. Uh, just a couple of C stands with a couple of moving blankets and a couple of people hiding behind them. <laughs> um, the moving blankets have been able to help us just get that reverb and get that audio sounding a little bit crisper. And the idea is that we can take these with us. So if we go out on location, we know that we're in a big factory or if we've got a big warehouse where we're shooting products, we can take these moving blankets and quickly just throw them up like we have here just to kill a lot of the reverb and make our post-production a little bit easier. So number four, we're up to four. Don't you want to be on the next side? <laughs> so, the next thing that we use, which is fairly inexpensive, is when we're doing our paper backdrops, we change the colour of props to match the paper backdrop. So let me show you what I mean. Brophy, are they in this box? That's so low. Oh, they're not. <laughs> are they in the Christmas decorations box? Mm. Have to find out. Which box are they in? Alright, so the next tip is get different coloured paints to match the backdrop paper that you're using. So pink, orange, so part of the process that we do with customers if they've got brand colours or if they've got brand guidelines, if we want to do something that matches their brand guidelines, we'll go and get paint to match their brand get the paper backdrop to match their brand and it means that we can make some cool funky stylized shoots uh, whether they're still or video that really kind of hits the mark for that product or that brand that we're working with. <laughs> the last tip would be go to your $2 shop or go to your local Asian grocers or Asian store. What was this store? Danzo? Daiso. Daiso. <laughs> Go to somewhere like Daiso, which is a little Asian Japanese store, and buy things like these acrylic makeup holders. So they're usually designed to put stuff in on your desk. We turn it upside down and use it to hold props. Uh, all different shapes, sizes, steps, squares, circles, the works. They just are handy for when you're styling shoots and want to get something elevated or want to get something looking uh, a little bit nicer without having the ability to uh, 
don't know what I'm trying to say. Like it just makes it visually like you can change the height of stuff. There you go. <laughs> you can just change the height of stuff. Just hold on. So we didn't buy this thing just to vacuum the floors. The idea here is the wet and dry vacuum, you can suck up all of that liquid uh, after we're finished with a fish tank or after we're finished with our acrylic uh, bath that we use. It's super easy to just suck the water up, get rid of it, and no more spills anywhere. Super cheap, like a hundred bucks, they last forever, and you can fill the suckers full of water, and that's what they're designed to do. Order in the next 15 minutes, we'll send you a free set of steak knives. <laughs> Okay, so that's it. There's a bunch of inexpensive things that we use for product photography, product videography, that I reckon you should go out and get. Vacuum cleaners, hair dryers, paint that matches your background papers or your props, acrylic bits and pieces. It's all super cheap and it's all gonna level up what you do and make it a lot better for, I guess, your customers and the outcome that you're trying to get for them. Comment below if you've got any ideas that you do. If you want us to actually try one of your inexpensive things, let us know in the comments and subscribe to the channel because we really value your feedback and we want to show you all the cool that we do. Probably should, shouldn't say okay. Hey. Can, you, can you bleep it? Yeah, we'll, bleep, we'll bleep, it. bleep it. Hope you have a good one, guys. Are we recording? Yeah. <laughs>